Hey guys, it's Shelby with YouTube again. Thanks for watching today, guys. Um, the Cayman 9871 is getting some mods finally. We've got a slew of parts waiting to be installed. Uh, but in the meantime, I ordered a front splitter from Joe Composites. Uh, if you haven't heard of him, look him up. He does some incredible work for Porsches. And uh, I especially like the Cayman 9871 front splitter he has. And he has a couple to choose from. This one is the three piece setup. I like it the most. And uh, this is how to install the splitter, just in case. I didn't see too many videos on how to do this. It's probably really straightforward, but um, I'm an idiot <laughs> for the most part when it comes to doing it yourself with parts. And uh, so I figured this would help me if I had it available to me when I was putting this on and uh, maybe it'll help you guys out. So enjoy the video. Front splitter in and uh, just gonna kind of make this thing much more sporty. So I'm gonna try and do this myself and we'll see how it turns out. A little splitter that just kind of pops off from some uh, plastic tab insert. So I'll pull that thing off. And then here's what the, uh, the other one will look like here. It's gonna be a pretty substantial difference. It brings the overall front of the car down significantly to a couple inches at least. I think about two and a half, three inches, but got a, they mount together with a couple screws in the middle, plus some adhesive 3M stuff. And then fiberglass composite. Looks like it's literally handmade. So we'll see how this goes. There's no directions with it, so that would have been nice to have, but got to bolt kit and uh, I guess I'll just kind of figure out where these things go one up front and one back here this one's a little easier to pop through I'm just kind of pull it out It'll come through, come undone. So this lip sets up in between right here. So I'm gonna be sure that that stays intact because it's going to have to be just kind of cleaned up. It's got some some scuffs, splits here and there. So I'm gonna sand this down real light with a super fine like 2000 grit and uh, get it just cleaned up so the adhesion will be setting nicely. And then over here, I think uh, I want to just remove any of the excess pops here, the plastic pops. You can see them, let's see. 600 grit and 2000 grit. I'm just gonna go ahead and take some window cleaner and wipe the underside of this so that the 3M will stick and adhere nicely when we do that. And then uh, I'll be doing three holes to put this on anyways. And those three holes will go into the bumper and use these squish, squish bushings to uh, squeeze up into underneath the lip there. So let's go ahead and try her out. Probably don't even need to do this, but it can only help. All right, so now these are gonna slide up into just a little gap here. I'm gonna pop them in on these little ribs and then these will mount into the existing holes. So be sure to save your plugs from before the plastic ones because you're gonna reuse those or get new ones if you can. I'm gonna have to order a couple, but I'm gonna reuse them for now and uh, put these things in. All right, so you just want to pop these into line. These little knobs, nubs will stay in the balance pretty much. And then you want to take your plastic rivets and put them back. Let's see if you can even see up here. Like I said, you probably want to get some new ones. 
but um, I'm gonna use these ones for for now. Getting these arms back into place, they're depending on probably the age and the wear and tear on your car. Some of them going easy, some of them are a real piece of work. So this one took me like 25 minutes to get in place, but uh, it's probably because I've got quite a bit of, you know, bumps and bruises on the under chassis of the car. So something to be aware of as you put those things on. Now I'm going to basically float this in between and there's three holes on top. I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically line it up and then screw them or tap them out and then put the inserts for the rubbers in and then uh, yeah take off the 3m i'll probably put an extra 3m here and here as well i have some laying around and then we'll be done all right so on here uh, it's floating so that i can basically locate where to tap the pre-drill holes so I can mount the rubber mounts, but then put two of the screws, the top and the bottom to float it so that you know where it's lined up. And then now we can screw these places, one, two, and three, and that way we can set everything. All right, so take uh, the rubber boot after you drill it out and just kind of finagle it in there. It'll pop into place and there you go. Drill out each of these little holes until you're set. Kind of clean them up a little bit. Some of the extra stuff you can cut it off with the X Acto knife too if you want. And then pop in the rubber piece. See? Oh, I got one more. Here. It's still a little bit tight, so I'm gonna drill it out some more. And then uh, should be able to pop her in there. Yep, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to re-clean the surface so that the 3M adhesive sticks well. And we'll put the centerpiece on. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit more on here, so... Just, well, I guess I could start here and just uh, walk this along the back side here so that we have just a little bit extra amount of 3M. If you don't have 3M, this stuff does come in handy for Lots of little car stuff, so. So now I've got two strips on there. Quite honestly, probably only need one, but I have it laying around, so figure why not add a little bit more. And then we'll go ahead and we'll fit this to make sure we go on, come up, and we'll just stick it. Stick it on like so. Now, some of this is showing, so I might want to pull that off, but uh, we'll check it out. We'll go ahead and try it out. Take off the top part of the adhesive cover on both of them. And then uh, we'll go ahead 
and try and fit this as well as possible. Probably go ahead and put these screws into each of the proper slots. Let's see if we're close here. People on, on the forums that say, oh, yeah, it took me five minutes to take off the stock one and 10 minutes to put the new one on. And uh, that's awesome. But man, I either am really bad at this or that's just simply not the case, you know? So. That's fun, huh? All right, now. Oh, great. Forgot the washers. So, yeah, like I said, 10 minutes? No way. Not for me, at least. All right, so now I've got the washers. Screws in place. And now we just tighten everything as you tighten the rubber to compress inside the cutout and create that tension to tighten down the joint. So we're almost done. Just gotta put the nuts on the last ones and it's starting to hurt from laying down so long on this freaking concrete. That's why people have lifts and do this properly. And I complain a lot when I work on cars. I do not like working on cars. I like driving cars. Working on them, not my, my favorite thing to do. All right, now, little nuts on, probably gonna use it. drill on this one just to get these tightened quickly. Oh, I'm part of a Cayman Facebook club or group, whatever. It has like 22,000 members. And uh, that's how I ended up finding out the directions. I actually ordered this from Demon Speed. So Joe ended up always includes directions, but Demon Speed did not. So we are uh, figuring it out from a little Q&A online. All right, so.
Well, thanks for uh, following along as I struggle with another do-it-yourself install. So, hope it was entertaining. I'm not a huge car guy, obviously, in terms of working on them. I used to when I was younger, uh, more than I do now, but uh, it's definitely a struggle every time, and I learn something new. So, practicing patience, and uh, if you're not bleeding a little bit after working on a car, I probably did something too easy. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this was helpful, and... Uh, have a good one. See ya.